Oh, oh, that's okay. right here. So three. Did you need a bag? No, no. Uh, uh, you're right in blue. I thought you gave you a pencil there. This is. This is. Very is it blue? Yeah, it's not real blue in it. Oh, oh, well, that's the one that I It's nine millimeter. Yes. Probably the pencil I gave you. No, you gave me the lead to use it because I ran out. So okay. that's your lead. And unfortunately, non repro blue is a little more difficult. Oh, okay, no. I am recording right now. Okay. Hi. Awesome. Hi. So in 20 years, this baby will be able to find this on the internet and go, oh my god, I can't believe they recorded that. <laughs> also, I can't believe the internet still exists. Yeah, not the internet. Uh, I will probably edit this uh, a little bit later, but for right now, we are recording using lossy compression. Ha ha ha. Screw my sound engineer. Okay. So welcome, uh, of course, to um, from another time, another land. The way this game is set up is each of you have five stacks. As you can see, they're organized in different categories of physique, charisma, dexterity, intelligence, and wisdom. And each of them is a subcategory. Life is equally as four subcategories. So three subcategories of ones of four. I don't know. Okay. When you want to do something in the game, you will roll dice. In, uh, and, and you will add them together, trying to roll very high, trying to roll a target number. Okay. So, if you're bad at something, you may notice you have 2d10 in it, okay? Yeah. If you're good at something, you have 4d10 in it, and if you're average, you roll 3d10. You just roll those dice, add them together, try to get the target number, okay? Now, one nice thing about these rules is dice have a special property called open-ended. What this means is if the die, or something's called exploding, if you want to play an exploding game before? Okay, if a die comes up and rolls the highest it possibly can, like if it rolls a 10, or if it rolls a 6, you can roll it again and add that in. Ooh. So, for example, if you're rolling 4d10 and one of them comes up 10, you can go boom! And you can grab that d10 and roll it again and add it. And if it rolls a d10 the second time, boom! And you just keep rolling. Nice. Expansive crits. Often at some points I will tell you to stop rolling because I'll say, you can stop hitting him, he's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, he has to learn. His <laughs> corpse has to learn. Now, I haven't bothered to list all of your skills, but I gave at least each one of you one more skill. Uh, one skill already in your character sheet. If it comes up during the game that there is a skill that you're missing, uh, I think we can agree, like, like, you just want, like, you say, hey, I should be able to do this. Should we give everybody, like, one gimme skill? Like, if it comes up in the game, you say, hey, I, you know, I should be able to do this kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, like, everybody gets one gimme skill. So, when it comes up in the game, you write down. Notice if you're skilled in something, you get a bonus D6. Like, for example, I think you are skilled in health. Uh, but notice on the left-hand side where it says skills and notes. Oh, law. Right. So you get a bonus D6. If it's related to enforcing or knowing the law, you get a bonus D6. You, I think, is just violent. I'd like to or no, the, play out. What does uh, Merkin do? Really Judicial champion and two-handed play. Yeah, what's that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you get a bonus uh, D6 if you do those things. Okay, uh, you work with, if it's anything related to buying or selling or money or accounting, you get a bonus D6. Okay. Hold on, guys. Am I saying that right? Judicial? Yes, Judicial Champion. Okay, that is your official title. Technically, they're trying to phase you guys out because technically the Lord's supposed to do their own fighting. Plus, also, the trial by combat is really mean. Well, it's really mean to the poor people because the rich people will say, well, I'll just. Oh no, I was found guilty trial by combat. I'll submit my judicial champion. And the prince says, I'll submit our champion. We have these two guys who are professional fighters, but I can't die if I submit a champion. Whereas the poor people go, you know, I don't have anybody to submit. Well, Tom, you gotta go in the ring and fight this asshole. <laughs> the good news is, your. So why does it just. Yeah. The good news is, your principality <laughs> is one of the nicer ones. Nice. So your job is you mostly follow Colin around, who is the sheriff. Yeah. And when you're not engaging in trial by combat, which you, I don't think you've probably ever done, <laughs> you said you're basically Colin's deputy. Up. You're just, just you know, you I'm show up and look, you show up and whirl the flail around a little bit and try to convince them that you don't want to clobber them upside the head. <laughs> <laughs> but technically, no, you you me. report directly to the Lord <clears throat> as well. Now, Colin's job is he actually arrests people. Yeah. Okay. Take that C crime and villain. Right. So if you want to do something in the game, you roll a bunch of dice, add them together. If they roll max, they explode, and you can roll those and add those in. You're mostly trying to beat threshold numbers. Now the weird part is when it comes to combat. You may have noticed in your combat, there are a bunch of numbers listed that are in the quick category, called, and critical. If you want to murder someone in the game, first we'll roll initiative. This is a segment of the initiative system, so some of you might go first. Uh, going first is reaction, by the way, dexterity reaction. <laughs> so I might make a reaction roll so you goes first. I might not. I'm, anyway, 
When you attack someone in the game, you can choose to make it a quick attack or a called attack. A called attack is trying to strike the weak point for massive damage. Massive damage. Okay? You may have noticed that your dice with the called attack are lower than your dice with the quick attack. At least it should be, unless I screwed up. Yeah. Yep. Okay, good. Right. But if you hit somebody, you may notice you have three different armor ratings. A quick rating versus called and versus critical. And you may have noticed that your versus called and criticals are worse than your quick. Yeah. Easier to block a quick strike than someone who's trying to hit you right in the juggler. Well, it means they're hitting you at a weak point for massive damage. So when you attack someone in the game, you can choose to do a quick strike or a called strike, and you have to clear that before you do. Okay? Um, if you when you roll to hit somebody, you have to beat their dodge number. If you roll to hit them and you beat the quick number, you hit them with a quick attack. If you did a call shot, you have to beat their call number. You may have also noticed that their call dodge is also higher for many of you. Notice that. Okay, so, so it's doubly hard. You have less dice to attack with, and they're harder to hit. The critical number is if you roll to hit somebody, and you rolled well enough to beat the crit, whether it was a quick shot or a, criti- or a call shot, if you beat the critical number, you automatically score a critical hit. So in other words, according to the rules, you can either attack them normally and just go for quicks and criticals, or you can attack them call, go for call and criticals. Pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah. Quick's supposed to be easy or hard to dodge. Or armor, so. Uh, why? Is your quick rating the same? Uh, no. My quick for versus quick for armor is 2d10, and then my call is d6. Oh, no, your armor is supposed to be shitty. Your dodge number. Oh, your dodge uh, it's, it says 10, I think. You have, it, you, okay, let me see. I apologize that I may have written the wrong number. I know, so let me check. Yeah, your dodge versus quick is 10, and versus call is 18. Okay. Now, you uh, are actually very difficult to hit because you, and I put a note here that you have a shield. Yes. If your shield goes away, your defense is going to Okay. We'll just assume you have a shield. Fair enough. So you basically have the best defenses in the game. <clears throat> All right. In fact, you are pretty easy to hit with regular attacks because your dodge is 10, like most people's are. Uh-huh. But notice you got your call and critical are amazing. Okay. I didn't know. So. No, when it comes to fighting, you uh, you dish uh, more than, you know, the, the dishers is you're the best at dishing, you're the best at criticaling. And you're the best at tank, and well, actually, you, I'm you two are good at tank. tanking. Tank and yeah, my, uh, dodges versus quick. Oh yeah, guys! If a, fight break, if a fight breaks out, get behind the knights because the rest of you <laughs> do not <laughs> want to be in front. Red mist. That's what you actually have better defense against quick. Oh, he's a dwarf. Ah, fair which, which means we raised his defenses and then lowered his hit points. <laughs> Because right, yeah. that's gaming logic for you. We're recording this for posterity, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we apologize, people in advance, but this is the from another time, another land game, and hopefully, I'm, uh, the problem is we're recording this, and it's like I spent some time prepping for this. This uh, is one of my favorite adventures. It was written by Aaron Olsen. Yay! Wee, he, wrote, he wrote the D&D Cyclopedia, uh, as well as the Rogue Squadrons. Hey, yeah, I like that name. And this was a bit originally published in um, Space Gamer back in the 80s. Oh, this old school, guys. Okay. I wish I had time to scan the map, but woo, we have a map. Yay! Yay. Yay. It's, it's like I'm really there. Okay, so you guys are actually in the kingdom of Kateness. Kateness. Some of the talky talk you start writing. So I don't have to remember shit this time. Kateness. How's it say? Too dumb for that. C A I T H. N E S S, Katniss, and not Katniss, which is so like that that weird neologism. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, it is a collection of baronies and lord holdings. Uh, they are all ruled by a king whose name is Conal the Sixth, but he's a new king, and all the other baronies are saying, "Yeah, whatever, we're paying you taxes." Uh, but uh, some baronies are uh, don't like the new king and think maybe we could stop paying him taxes. So there, uh, some people are thinking about seceding from Katniss. Um, my you murdering. guys, let's see where you are on the war loyalty I scale. I like your charisma. <laughs> okay, alignment. Katniss is your current, your, um, yeah, your Baron actually likes Katniss and is currently uh, royal, but I actually have listings here of the different Barons uh, that interact with you. And there's a crap ton of them. Yeah. So, 
Now, you guys are all working <coughs> in the Barony of Harkwood, which is a small little barony uh, that is Harkwood, the city is Harkwood Town, where there used to be a forest, and over here is the forest. The forest belongs to you. Most of what you do is you chase poachers out of the forest. Yeah, not forest. <laughs> yeah, damn poachers. Get out my land. Are the sheriff of Nottingham. Yeah. <laughs> you dare to kill a king's dad. Yeah. Well, you don't know marry means, right? Marry? Yeah, marry means you have no one to speak for you. Oh, yeah. Or, which, which eventually came, if I have no one to speak for me and I have no lawyer, that means I have no obligations. So if I'm married, I have no obligations. Wee. But generally, a married person was a disenfranchised cowboy or master. So, yes, we hate the, those guys. So, most of your economy is farming and wood. Farming wood. Wood farmers. Oh wood farmers. Okay. Farm um, wood. There are exactly three knights. You, you, and you. Yeah. You are surrounded on all sides by other people loyal to the King of Caitness, which is great, but it does have a local lord a little nervous, uh, Baron Fenmark, uh, who is a middle-aged man, uh, but still in the prime of life, uh, um, you know, who's also known for his easygoing way. Uh, unfortunately, Fenmark is currently unmarried. His wife died 11 years ago. <clears throat> and, uh, and he only has a daughter. But that's not as big of a concern as there is about the fact that nobody seems to like the new uh, King of Caitness. And so Baron Harkwood here, who you guys serve, is a little nervous because if some of the neighbors, you know, some of the neighbors might decide to secede and then invade and steal our stuff. And since the Middle Ages, they're more likely to steal all of our stuff <clears throat> then succeed. Yeah. They can't take our wood. Yeah, we're wood farmers. We grew this wood. <laughs> oh. How long it took to grow this wood? <laughs> years. Centuries. Literally, years. that tree is older than my grandpa. That tree. Now you, you, got, you three are the only full-fledged knights whose only job it is is to perform <clears throat> the service duty. There are other lords who, in theory, are supposed to be knights, but you guys are the best equipped. Also, I guess technically, since you're the Shire Reeve, you're the one who's in charge of the militia. Yeah. So you're supposed to be drilling the militia. <laughs> drilling. <laughs> yes, baby likes the militia. Baby is so excited about that fact. <laughs> yeah, because it means when you die, he can take over. <laughs> you will never be ready, my son. <laughs> so it works. Never. Or your son. Or is he just going to be a farmer? Wood farmer. Oh, great. <laughs> he came from wood farmers. Ain't nothing wrong with being a wood this farmer. This tree's been my favorite. Oh, wait, remember? Yeah. You have education now. Oh, the... Can't let that slip out. Mm-hmm. Kill all the educated ones. Can't let this happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, also, um, you guys. Here. Now, all of you have fond memories of Sir Bohart. Sir Bohart helped Sir, uh, was in some of the nasty civil war that happened about uh, 20, 25 years ago. Uh-huh. So you guys are too young to remember that. But Sir Bohart was really nice. But about, um, let's see. Yeah, about four years ago, he died of uh, natural causes. Stamped death in his sleep. Stamped death in his sleep. He died at the ripe old age of 38. Which has the problem that his son, since his primogeniture, uh, has been elevated to, uh, has basically taken over the state. And everybody's in agreement that Derek is not that bright and possible. But no one says that to his face. <laughs> his face. Um, hey, what's my charisma? Hey, we talked about this. Can't cause trouble with old men. Yep. I got a perfect name for my character. It's it's the the first. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Well, I'm oh, yeah. 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 I like it. It makes Bo-hard. sense. Bohart. Bohart. You can't Bo-hard. talk bad about Bohart. I, I like that they have the execution mark right there, the, the execution grounds. I really think it's Blowhart. I really just want to give him a red eye. Yeah. Sure. Oh, Blowhart's there. Damn, there's that. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Like there's technically two. I think it's there. Yeah. But for, you guys hang out in the castle, which is an awesome modern style castle with basically yes. one big. Damn, modern. Well, you this bath filled Look with filthy water, but we can bathe in it. Check it out. It has water on the surface. Wow. To fill it up again. It's, it's okay. It's not held up. It's like it's it's filled with water in it. it. Bohart Manor it was shit. built on an older type castle. So while it still has some of the walls that are there, it's kind of drafty and not very nice. 
but it's the other place. So if people raid it, you can tell them either to go to the castle, and once that's filled up, you tell them to go. One problem you've got is that Harkwood is very popular, which means your population is going up. Yay! But every now and then, some of you got to look at that and go, you know, if we had a siege, I don't think we could fit everybody in there. I mean, we could. We wouldn't be happy. We could fit all the important people. Well, me. We could if we fit everyone in there. Could you fit in more than six months? Whereas if we cut out the small ones, we would have years of supplies. <laughs> <laughs> Effective sieging. Okay. So, so send them out with weapons. Front line. Go for it. Weapons. Oh, yeah. that's steel. Send them out with the wood. The pitchforks. <laughs> the bow. The boiled leather. Yeah, Send them out the with the lances there. made of wood. There you go. Yeah. Lots of axes. That's the wood. <laughs> hey, <laughs> wood. that's made of wood. Now you, Give me that. Uh, Sir Hurst. Wood pigs. Yeah, buy that first. Uh, one of the things that is uh, important, Hardwood has many, many guilds. Yeah, I don't expect you to remember all of them, such as the Carpenter's Guild, the Logger's Guild, the Furrier's <laughs> Guild, the Hospital Guild, the Allied Union of Craftsmen, the Metal Workers. Uh, but you have honorary uh, like bonds in all of them. Where would I write that? You can write that in your notes. Okay. You basically have a non-voting membership in every guild. Any second of honor. Who's probably? So they try to keep you out. One of the nice things about this town is even though Hartwood is very popular and is growing, as far as you guys know, there's no organized crime. There's just disorganized crime. So there's no feeds guild as far as you know. Uh, also important is the hospital of St. Julius. We so have medical St. Julius. No, what you have is you have a hospital that is it's called the hospital, but it's more of an orphanage. And you are going to be appointed to <laughs> Sexton nice. Hospital. The what? Uh, S-E-X-T-O-N. Sexton. That means you're in charge. You gotta keep the organs fresh. Children's bodies. So, so what is it? your name? Calm down, child. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> do you have a name yet? I did. No and yet. then I remembered that back in the day, nuns the ran the orphanages. Uh, I know this guy. <laughs> it's too soon. I was going to call myself. Alara is good. Alara, you are good, good friends with uh, his <clears throat> um, is it eminence. How do you trust a bishop? Damn, I'm going to flip this up. You gotta be smart and But you're good friends get... with Bishop William. Oh. Genius. Just not know how to. Who is, of course, rules the entire diocese uh, of um, Parkwood and a couple other men. Uh, it's Your Holiness, Most Holy Father, or Holy Father. Uh, he's holiness. really good. Uh, he and Baron Fenmark have good relations. Um, eminence. Technically, we do not have a rule of who's reaching his religion, so. Um, uh, you are practicing Catholic. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Protestant. Protestant. Which actually would be. Oh wait, that's all right. It doesn't make any sense because we wouldn't have a saint. So you're a Catholic. <clears throat> uh, technically, the branch of uh, Catholicism here is called the Ad Separationist branch. How to address two different cool. religions? Uh, let's see. Latin bishop. It doesn't say if you call them the Excellency or anything like that. It just says that they're dressed. Oh, that's dressed. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I know that you Google for how to address, that's actually how they dress. Which sorry, is, no, no, which is related. Pants. <laughs> sure, oh, sometimes. Wear hats. That's so a dress. Some description. Sometimes they like to free ball every now and then. black and Robes red. Robes are not dresses. Technically, you can be of any religion you want. So there actually is a Jewish and a Muslim population in the city. But they have to pay extra taxes. However, Bishop William is outspoken in how he thinks this is a bad idea. Sorry. Thank you. Addressing a bishop. Yeah, it is your excellency. My bad. Okay. Your excellence. How dare you insult me? And in my own home. <clears throat> okay. Most um, revered excellence. You are recently good friends with a guy by the name of Tecker. Yes. Okay. Tecker is a militia man who served in the unpleasantness about 20 years ago. So he's, you know, big guy in his 40s. He's still pretty muscular. And he was... A Apparently suffered some sort of a head injury. <laughs> so people call him, you know, ugly Tecker, often to his face, because not only is his face kind of squunched up and didn't heal very well, uh, but, you know, because he's he's actually got visible bolts holding his skull back together. I guess there would have to be a brass since that wouldn't uh, 
Tim's. Um, Tim 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 yeah. No, he's got a plate on his head. <laughs> he's definitely one here and not all there. But charity is charity. Gotta be nice to him. Big smile. I don't have to be nice to everyone. I just have to be nice let to it, people. Let him pat your butt. It's okay. <laughs> no. And one thing I really like about this adventure is they specifically list if you attack anybody, uh, uh, specifically who gets what. Which is if you, uh, like, if, if, um, like if you deputize a bunch of people and then capture somebody. Yes. When their goods are divided up and sold, the town gets three shares, the lord gets one share, and then everybody else divides up the, uh, and everyone else who showed up to do the arresting gets three shares. So in other words, if like, if you brought five people, yeah, be 15 shares, plus one for the lord, plus three for the town, you have to divide everything up by two. And if there's any rounding errors, it goes to the lord, because of course. <laughs> oh, I love it. That one's left over. Yep, it's mine. Right. I mean the lords. Now, Lord. this is the Middle Ages, so technically you can press any freeman into service that you need to. In practice, you don't want to do that. Freeman. Free- hey, freeman. Man. Gordon. Freeman. Okay. Oh, good. Freeman. Wait, was it? All right. Oh, yeah. It's not the frozen. So, guys, like a real big thing that's going on is speaking yes, of. Um, okay. Or rather, so look at light. Now, even though there's a lot of hostility going on, it's festival great. season, and we're going to go ahead and celebrate uh, Tree Day, Wood Day, no, Arbor, Arbor Day, Thanksgiving, One Day. How about Root Day? Saint Woody's Day. Saint, Day. Day. <laughs> Saint Wood. Oh, Man. Go to church well, no, stuff. because you actually have her remains in the church. This is the day everyone's yeah, supposed to show up. You're supposed to parade around. Look. Bones of a saint. Oh, oh wow! I can imagine uh, this just touching like, like, so like, 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 all the woodsmen like, yeah. is it Woods Day? Are we gonna celebrate wood? No, guys, no. But, forget the wood for yeah, a second. Forget the wood for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Every day is Woodsman Day. Hooray! <laughs> 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 The king is like every year you one day. Everyone gets an additional day. Oh, uh, I think there's something. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> now get back to work. It's Woods Day. Go on. Work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, work on Woods Day. Never <laughs> day is Woods Day. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. For I forgot that the adventure actually well, labels it. Summer's Day. Summer. That ain't Woods Day. It is the yes. One problem you guys have is that this year Hardwood is being host to a tourney, which they're sending several knights. From other baronies to come by to participate in these sportsman like <sighs> tourney. I'm gonna like, go start training right now. Okay, <laughs> can, I, can I just leave now and go start pumping iron or stone now, or something? Now, yeah, 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 customers! <laughs> in fact, one of the problems that you have is you fight with a flail, which is almost impossible on horseback. That's I mean, you can still problem. fight with a flail on horseback, but you really can't. Seems like, oops, sorry. I'm 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 sorry. The flail go on back, the lance go like this. When the lance go like this, I go like this. And for everyone listening, that means we get it with the lance and pull out the flail. So that means more what? that means know? more people Ace have been coming into town. To the conversation. So one problem that I would one problem of course that you guys have is that more people are showing up. Now you're um do we actually have a job for you? Because I know everyone else does, but you're just walking around. As a diplomat. He's You're an embarrassment to diplomacy, obviously. Yeah. Diplomat. <laughs> but when they need you, what is he they work come for and get some you. Well, I'm going to assume that you something? work for Baron Fenmark. And I'm going to assume that you are the tax collector. I'm the tax man. Where's your wood? Got money. As well as, I'm not exactly, I don't think it's the right title, but sometimes it's called the reader of the rules. Basically, you're just the guy who handles all the. Because you can read and write. Okay. And you are very <laughs> and you are very <laughs> ah, yeah. no. Okay. Now of course you've got problems. Business. <laughs> but of the good kind and bad kind, because more people are coming into town because the attorney is here, which means a lot of the attaches are showing up. So the in other words, knights are coming in, as well as, you know, their entourages, and then <coughs> other people are showing up to do <coughs> tourism, because some people are coming here to pray at the shrine, some people are here to drop off their children. That's kids and orphans. Wait, is, it, is your kid? Hey! <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> your god's trouble now. What's the bad part? Daddy, I never <laughs> that I don't know. Know. Now, son. 
I don't know people who you are, Kyle. That pulley is going to hold you back. Let yeah. your wife Places. tell. Mama, wait. Hands are getting full. <laughs> so, Baron, in the interest of this, Baron Finmark has gone around and gone to all the guilds and some of the landed, uh, you know, the lands knights or whatever, and the farmers, and said, okay, we're, you know, we need, uh, you know, about a dozen people to go ahead and militia the town because we have a bunch of Okay, <laughs> so I need you guys to. This is part of your time. I'll deduct it from your tax time, so you, you have to go around and make a note. So, in other words, Baron Fenmark says, Tyrion, you know, I need you to go around and get us 12 able-bodied men so we can, you know, run some police in this town, because normally we don't have to do that. Yeah, get 12 hobos. Yes. Very and nice. I, I'd like you to bring, what was your character's name? Uh, Arden. Yeah. You should probably take Arden with you, because he's in charge. And maybe so these two guys who don't really do anything except, uh, actually, you're prepping for the tourney, right? Yes. And what are you doing? I'm bobbing for, for oh, wood. Yeah. Turn yeah. out what's hard to So you're also yeah. prepping for the tourney. That's true. That is not that hard, though. <laughs> okay, that makes sense to me. Nerds! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay. What were you complaining about earlier? Don't have to expose that. Okay. <laughs> well... Um, how was it? A like a Laura. Yeah, I work work. Work. Alara, <laughs> Alara, I have good news and bad news. The bad news is, uh, sorry, the good news is Tecker's not showing up for work. Y- yay! That actually makes things easier. Yeah. The bad news is he's going to go hang out with the other knights who are training the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> so you have this kind of guy who has like, literally it's painful to look at. He's got like far as his head. I'm a knight. I can still fight. Yeah. Ooh. And it's like, you guys can even tell, here, hold this target while I try to joust it. And then, like, um, <laughs> later some other people said, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm but going to fun. feel obligated to go there and stop. Send one of the orphans out. Well, I don't think you guys are crazy enough to do that, are you? Uh, well, I'm sorry, I'm just a merchant, I can't really say anything. That but I, I saw mean, children disappear. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. Okay, so you guys are hanging out with a couple it's of the other knights. What? Yes. You, you know, you guys report to the king, so you're the king's knight, or the baron's knight. It's but, uh, Francis. Uh, I double-checked it's a baron. Okay. It says it's suddenly a principality, but Baron Fenmark is his title. Okay. So that's what we're going by. It's, it's a baron. baron. Okay. But some of the other serfs who are outranked by the baron have sent some of their knights, and they're all trained. Uh, there's a guy here by the name of uh, Lobrin, who uh, worked under... Uh, Blowhard. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's much better. Blowhard. Blowhard. But now he works for Sir Derek. Sir uh, Derek he Dick. is huge and uh, has no sense of uh, humor. That's, that's okay. we should read it. But yeah, but he's going to turn to you guys and say, look, we're going to like win this tourney and win glory for Fenmark and glory yes. for Yes. Glory for Wood. Then obviously we have to determine who's going to be first, second, you know, first chair, second chair, third chair, whatever they do for nights. So I guess if you really just want to go home now and save all the trouble and just make me first chair, that'll solve everything. Well, you know what, mate? I, I, uh... All right, guys. All right, nobody hurt each other. I see the way you're looking at him. Come on now. Because I've seen you, like, you guys are... What Sorry, contest do you good. propose, sir? Well, it doesn't matter what I propose. The tourney is going to be a lot of jousting. So here we have one of those tilting things. You ever seen this thing? It's, it's amazing. It's a stick with a little scarecrow type guy on it. And he's got a shield that's on a hinge. And if you strike it flat, they'll fall down. If you don't strike it flat, it'll spin around. I don't have to test anything. I just, you know, we're going to go three tilts on this thing. And, you know, either you're knocking it over or you're done. And then as you can take horsemanship as one of your special skills, I don't think so. Nope. Because well, you only get one gimme, you're going to spend nope. on a horsemanship? Nope. Wait, we had a gimme? New get again. Everybody gets one gimme, which you don't have to use now. No, I'm you suggesting you should wait until in the game. Mine is long. I don't need a horse. No, no, I mean, like, you guys get one fall. extra. You, you, no, Carl, you're the tech. you'll get one extra one if it comes up. Yeah, I have an so unless you want to spend it on jousting, you know, right now. I'm kind of invested in this flail thing, so uh, sorry, horsey. I don't know how you do. <laughs> you should be weaponry because you're the man at arms. Yeah, well, that's what I want to be. The okay. No horsey. Because your face changed. Oh, well. First, you're going to have to ride the horse. So who wants to go first? I'll go first. You mount up. Riding the horse is dexterity and coordination. So you're going to have to Do you even have those? Things? I have dexterity. And what's your specialty in dexterity? Come in. 
Right. That that that. In other words, if you're to order people in a combat situation, order the horse. I am not Come on, horse. horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Order the horse. horse. Horse is like what? Yeah, no, it's coordination. For the horse. Dumb horse. All right. Yes. All right. You have to roll a fifteen or better. Uh, remember, I got. Remember the tens explode. Well, tens explode. That's not good enough. You ride, and the horse kind of goes Whee. off in a random direction. And eats <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll well, go. The, the Lorgren just kind of nods. They eventually catch you, take you off the horse, and put him on. I'll go next. <laughs> After that, I'm First sure. First is dexterity uh, and coordination. I'm sure. Okay, okay. I'm better on the ground. Just training. Then I'm promise. sitting here watching these guys laughing. 24. Do you nice. Have 24. You need a 24. Wow, you need a 15 or better, so you amazingly ride. Now you actually have to hit the mark, which is physique and fitness. Oh, nice. Physique and fitness. Oh, yeah, okay. not strength, because we don't need to know if you knock it <laughs> over, we need fitness to see if you actually hit it. Uh, uh, it is uh, 22. Only, man. You're Sorry, my math man. is bad. Lawbrain is right? actually in front. 22, man. yeah. What? You're a homely man. You're not very attractive. No, that's not. Uh, you guys take a shot? Yeah, sure. First is dexterity and coordination to ride the horse. You even said that earlier. Five. Four, <laughs> Fifteen or better. Seventeen. Uh, passable. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I have a question. Yeah. You actually like got to where you where wanted to go. go. We heard the wood hit the wood. Yeah, and just it's gotta get there. there. Especially yeah, because you had that, and you're still going to just get that. It's pretty simple. Wait, I mean, later on, we can't add anything to it. It's just eight. It was leveling up back Sunday. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I want to cover this one shot. No, that's fine. I was fine. So I got to my destination with the horse. Okay, you're not. It's it's serviceable. The horse is running along the tilting line. I just got to hit it, which is a deacon fit. All right, here we go. No one would know that, right? Thousand dollars in DC. Eighteen. Three hundred dollars in Kentucky. Less than. Less than. Okay. Well, uh, Lauren is going to roll a 19 to ride the animal, and he's going to roll a 23 since wow. he actually knows how to joust. I want oh, to nice. To hit it. But, um, well, we need to decide which one of us is going to go first. Lauren says, I think you should be first. <laughs> actually, I think that was pretty lucky. <laughs> you think that was lucky? I think that was pretty lucky. This is not my specialty, I have to say. I part of the hand on hand on foot. All right. what do you, you have proven wait, yourself? What did roll? Uh, we 19 for the ride and 23 for the hit. Okay, so okay. he beat me in the hit, but I just lucked out on No, you can go first. I'll go second. I have a third. All right. You have any... And tell me, what is the actual difference between first, second, and third? Oh, anyway. That just means that what order you go? When we're, we might get eliminated, because we're supposed to okay. pay... You know, we're, we're supposed to <laughs> do sorry. several runs. Oh, good. Okay. My best friend wants so to we'll have you ride first. And that means by having me first chair... Because that means if I get crippled and have to fall, you have to come back in and cover me. Sounds okay. good. Ah, excellent. Okay. You know, those be like old days. The glory of death. Just don't be like that guy over there as I point to that guy with his uh, Just remember skull. me and how kind I was. He's still half on the horse and half off the horse. Well, at least he's still somewhat on the horse. But here I am laughing away. Anyway. Cackling. I'm a merchant who doesn't really give a shit about anyone but himself. Do this with his lip. Is there a turn of something? No, he's sleeping. Uh-oh. No. He's woken up. That arm was the power button. Chink. I'm awake. Okay. So, you guys had an exhausting day, and your day was, you know, growling orphans, and you just laughed. And, and uh, but, yeah, no, you, um, oh, yeah, Tyrion, apparently everyone went to go off to jousting practice, so you have to rid the book guys yourself. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Um, I'm going to suggest that recruiting people is probably first to go find them, which I'm guessing would be charisma and voice. Well, I have. All right. Make your roll. The higher you roll, the better. Roll your 10 sided dice. If any 10s appear, they explode. Okay. What'd you get? You need at least a 15, or we send you home. 16. Ah, there's the evil body man. I almost missed them. <laughs> uh, you barely talked to about 12 kind of guys. Um, so, uh, what skills do you have useful in assessing their ability? Hmm. Intelligence? Uh, what? Well, I'm not sure if it's going to be intelligence or reason. You, like, do you need do you well, I, I could go, I, work? I could go either way. I could have you ask them a bunch of questions and use intelligence analysis, or I could ask you to... Um, 
Well, I, if you were to ask their performance, okay. uh, I'm just taking to the floor. Uh, the uh, little sticky things. The little sticky things are coming up. I would say it's more reflection, which is like after you meet the guys and hear them. Okay, so wisdom. Yeah. So you want to do my go wisdom or intelligence? Uh, they're both the same. Both the same. And which is better, your analysis or your reflection? Uh, both the same. Okay, never mind. Let's do it. <laughs> do it. There we go. We got lie ourselves an eleven. An eleven. <laughs> Well, they seem okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. We shall see. We shall see. It's like, you can't even lift at this tiny little Well, you, you deputize them. The first thing you do is put the tabards on them, which, you know, the cloth they have to wear. And then here's your hat, or helmet. Here's your hat. This Team. one, yeah, this one doesn't fit. We have room in a medium? No. <laughs> and then you give them... You'll be grateful for what we give you <laughs> yes. in the Lord's service. Yes, sir. <laughs> You're like, you get a hat. For Lord Benmark. People have died for less. <laughs> oh, we've seen Tecker. He should have died. <laughs> okay. So they'll all, all put on the... Um, yeah, the helmet. And you'll have the 12 of them wandering around trying to keep bandits out of town. Uh, you guys have a couple of uh, hard days. Like drinking you know. booze. Drinking the wood booze. Pouring away. Well, sticking yeah, the booze. Away. Since Gotta squeeze the alcohol out of the wood. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, wouldn't it be better if we used the no. alcohol? No. Get the wood press. Use the logs. What do we look like? A whole bunch of fruits? Well, yeah. no. We use the bark here. Bark wood. Bark wood. <laughs> Makes you a man. Bark wood. Bark wood. <laughs> Makes him out. Pycom liquor. Okay, so <laughs> obviously you guys decide that, you know, since the place is coming out, the place is going to get pretty busy pretty soon. You go to the best inn in town, which is called the Clumsy Lion. It's called that because we were just supposed to be the proud lion, but the sign they, that the painter painted to go out front, the lion was painted so badly that it looks like it's falling over. So we just call it the <laughs> uh, it was cheaper to rename the place than it was to repaint the sign. <laughs> <clears throat> but the place is filled, and of course, there's lots of people talking about, uh, you know, who they think is going to do uh, best. Uh, yeah, a lot of people think Lorbrand's going to do pretty good. I hear Sir Derek's actually going to joust. What? That kid's barely wet between the ears. Uh oh. And Eric, what was your character's name again? Oh, I don't have uh, C. 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 Yeah, I heard Sika yes. just showing you. Hey, Sika, you're going to show those people from those other rebellious baronies what's what? Win the tourney, right? That is correct. Follow All right. King Willicker, show them are you for. Are you going to do equestrian or are you going to do the footsman? Uh, I think I'm Wait, can I do both? Well, yeah, but you'd have to be some sort of amazing athlete to do both of them. <laughs> well, let me think about it. <laughs> Probably I both. Suppose. There are also a lot of strangers in town who are discussing obnoxious things and doing the kinds of obnoxious things you expect from the bar. Are you pretty obnoxious things? Are you being obnoxious? Um, obnoxiously, is it daytime? It's nighttime. It's not time um, in the inn. Then I'm obnoxiously smaller right now. Then enjoying my. You're not going to the inn. Everyone's drinking. It's booze. Come it out of park. Maybe you drink for half price. Okay, fine. I'll take it. Excellent. This sounds good. I need a drink after doing. Children all day. Come on, children, let's go to the bar and get drunk. No, 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 they are in bed. They're all in bed. <laughs> they go to bed at 5 o'clock every night. Because <laughs> yeah, I uh, <laughs> put booze in their uh, drinks. They pass right out. There you go, put the bourbon in there. Like no, bottle. back then they'd have meat. God. <clears throat> We have I mean, wood and wood. We, and that's that's all bourbon is. That's all we have is wood. <laughs> bourbon in the wood barrel. So, while you're all drinking, some stranger, uh, you know, very strange clothes and speaks with some sort of strange foreign accent, has to lean over the table and say, Hey, did it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I just. <laughs> it did one hurt. When you fell from heaven. <laughs> <laughs> he should have said when you fell out of that tree. When you fell from that godly tree. <laughs> Everything is wood based here. It, 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 yeah, it's the wood ale, wood bark, <laughs> wood vodka. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wood, I, fried termites, fried wood, wood, wood chips. Of course, yeah, what do you say? We, Wait, that's just a delicacy here. <laughs> what do you say we ditch these <laughs> losers here? They're just going to get killed in six chapters anyway. And you and I go off and try to start a dynasty of our own. I only like one man. Oh, baby. Jesus is far away. 
Oh, yeah. I hear they like wood this town. There's the classy role playing you're all expecting. Say, <laughs> what skills do you have useful in dissuading a drunk amorous? Uh, Hit them with a piece of wood. Uh, Say, you want to rub some wood together and make fire? <laughs> I can rub some wood together. <laughs> Put the wood to you. You want to whip it out like a fair wood? I got this too, Nick. Dexterity and uh, you use dexterity <laughs> and <laughs> and I'll try it. <laughs> Used to be as big as that tree over there. <laughs> Not anymore. You see a giant pile of wood shavings. That's real both of them. Everywhere. The house with the wood shavings. <laughs> uh, yes, how much do you have in a dexterity? 2d10? You Three. have awoken the jam. 3d10. So, so roll so three dice when I try to put and in add sleep. them together. In his sleep. No, in his sleep. He's like, nope, I'm content. Nah, I'm that's here. pretty good. So you say some sort of cutting remark. But he doesn't seem to be buying it. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, listen, your, uh, your, your mouth said, your, your mouth says, no, it dries. It's a yes. And he grabs you by the arm. Oh, do you scream? Do you slap protest? Him. Do you slap him? Slap his ass. Yes, I have to slap Slapping him will be physique and strength. Yeah, he's got a little dainty arm. Oh, I don't have strength. Nope, but you can still slap him. Okay. Slap him with a piece of Roll that strength. Get your hands off of me. You have to roll better than his dodge. This is his you got a 10. ten right? Reroll that and add oh. it to it. Yeah. Okay, well, so you have 10. So, so you have 10 plus 4 plus what's the last one? 7. All right. So you have 21. Roll another d10. This dude does a dodge. 23. 23. Man, he slapped the shit out of him. Almost a critical. Yes. <laughs> Slap it almost Slap. came off the face. Man. Okay. The hand is definitely pull that. <laughs> but not quite. Yeah, no, you'll smack him. And you'll yank like a dog. He a will dog like and a bunch of you guys I guess will turn to see this. A laugh. And then he's gonna turn and punch you right back. <laughs> Here comes the bra little ladies. Uh, Here's the first murder right in the ball. No. Oh. Punching oh on that. Wow. Am I uh, intervene? If <laughs> any of you want to intervene, that is going. I'm going to need everybody Wait, except you. Okay. To make a roll of dexterity and reaction. Dexterity. Okay, actually, I should probably try. Here we go. Yeah, it's dexterity and reaction interrupt somebody. Wow, twenty-one already. Tyrion wins. <laughs> no, that, I have wait, 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 wait. I got a ten and a six. That's <laughs> sixteen. Okay. Uh, I need a twenty or better interrupt. Thirty-one. 20. One second, I have another oh, 10. Crap, okay. I got 13. 35. All right. 36. Wow. Uh, bitch. <laughs> I rolled two 10s, too. Oh, I rolled three 10s. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's almost, it's almost like yeah. you got it. So, so <laughs> you, you punch him, and he goes, ah, oh, my blood. No, it makes me bleed by my blood. I ain't got none. And then he, like, comes back at you with his fist, and like, <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you doing? <laughs> Well, <laughs> men stand up. You, it's like you, you can't hit a nun. You want? I'm just gonna pick him up and let him. All right, that's not. You uh, <laughs> that is not if you want to pick him up, it's a baby man. You are gonna have to grab him. That's gonna be physique and fitness. Yes, I'm, if only you were good at that. If only I had the fitness. <laughs> I have a dodge of seventeen. Twenty. Do you have a ten? Okay. No, the two nines. Uh, no, so are you gonna wait like or five. do something? I'm just well, gonna, I'm going to put my hand on his butt. hand and look at him. What the heck is that? Girl? You mm-hmm. You're just going to see how this plays out? Oh, yeah, I'm just going to watch. Yeah, I'm waiting for this. Good, because there's two friends <laughs> who are also in here. Oh, you're such a uh, special. So, hey, no one hits, oh, you know, long long no one hits Big Mike. I'm the one who hits Big Mike. <laughs> and he's going to punch <laughs> you. Okay, unless now. one of you guys interrupt him. Now, now we're going to Do I just roll? turn his No, you guys are winners. Okay. I'm going to interrupt him. All right. <laughs> and I'm going to punch him in the face. Because he can win this. And then the fight started. <laughs> it's a bar fight. Bar fights. Have you guys ever been in a bar, fight, bar fight before? That's um, 10. No, 10. That's 19. Hold on. Let me roll. Okay. Another 10. Another 10. <laughs> That's 29. <laughs> if you get 25, it's a crit. Well, it's, it's a, crit a crit now. We're done. <laughs> you, you can keep rolling, but you've already critted it. Okay, hold on. That's, that's 36. Okay. Yeah, he's going to feel that. When you punch him, you will break his nose. Uh, I can shit somewhere. 
Please, use this piece of wood, put it on our nose, and make it look better. Yeah, let's get my hair. This is official law business, sir. Sit down. <laughs> um, yeah, that's actually, uh, that's 2d6. Oh, do I roll that? Oh, sorry. I mean, it's a single d6, my bad. Go ahead and roll it. It's sprawling. He Okay, he takes all that. It's a critical hit, so he wears his armor. <laughs> you have armor not on your face. Not on his face. <laughs> what? Uh, what about his friends? Let's do it. So you're holding one guy. You're all holding one guy. I'm going to try. I'm going to right. punch him in the kneecap. Punch his butt. It's fair game. Sheriff punch first. Nice. 18. Keep going. Keep going. 20. Nice. Uh, that's a hit. I'll go ahead and roll nice. d six. The dwarf is like, ha, man. One. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I will take no damage. Yes. <laughs> if I punch him in the butt. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, what are they doing? Can I interrupt them if they try to do something? Uh, you can, because uh, you rolled higher than Guess what my dumb side is. Well, let's see. Let's see. One of them uh, staggered backwards because he got punched. So, But he's not down. And you guys may have also noticed that there's hit points and life points. When you run out of hit points, you fall unconscious. When you run out of life points, you run out of uh, life. Damage comes off hit points first. But I only took... Uh, that was a pretty heavy hit. But not enough to take me out, and I'm not convinced I want to give up yet. So he's gonna come at you. Okay, bar stool. Can I do that? Uh, you can be hit with the bar stool. That'll be physique and strength. Ah, if I was man, I could have picked uh, something up. I would have been a better hit. Bit on your toes, bar man. Well, the bar owner doesn't like it when you break his furniture over. The yeah, usually, I mean. Because you'll get charged for that. We protect people and property, remember? Uh, that is property. a hit. And that's wood. Not just a regular that's hit. Gross. Wood. D6 of damage for this. Like the six. wood? We don't have enough yeah. of that. Bye. Wow, well, I'll take four of that. I think we yeah. have enough. The scar. Ooh. That's a red wood. We must preserve our wood. Uh, and that breaks right. the bar stool. Of course. <laughs> wow, the wooden bar stool. <laughs> Shit. Look what you do. Okay. <laughs> Bitch. You are just sitting there watching everything, right? Yes, I am. I need you to make a roll of... So, you're, you're like almost oh, here for the purpose, but you're going to be here for the purpose. Yeah, Space skill is the best for this one. I need to be No, because I need you to make a roll to observe what's going on. Yeah. Which I'm thinking is going to be a roll of intelligence and spatial. There we go. This is going to be a spatial, so it's intelligence and spatial. I like that they have spatial as a category because I gave the dumb people spatial. <laughs> well, it's sure. like, you know, if you're going to, you know. You're going to be stupid yeah. and not going to know what's yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, hold on a second. I got 21. Uh, are we running this evening? So, now, what's going on is, well, that bar fight's going on. Okay, you see these guys are rushing here. You also notice that a bunch of other guys are yelling at other people. Oh, yeah. Fight, fight, fight. fight. And when, this, when he breaks the stool, you're thinking, oh man. You know, Eric, the guy who owns this place, isn't going to like that at all. Where is Eric? And you can't, you notice that Eric is, instead of being in the hall itself, has is leaving to go in the pantry with a person you don't recognize. This is suspicious. It looks very suspicious. Armed with this knowledge, what do you do? I'm going to follow them. Um, do you want to follow them, obviously, or sneakily? The back of Maybe sneakily? It depends on what that is. Well, sneaking is usually, uh, I guess to do this smoothly, you can blend in with the crowd using charisma and gesture. <laughs> or you can try to sneak behind stuff using dexterity and agility. I'm guessing your charisma and gesture is way better. I don't have gesture. But, but, you're, but your charisma well, obviously yeah. is better than your dexterity. Yeah. I have that. Your, uh, okay. There you go. Let's cover piece of glass. Let's see this. Okay. Plus nine and three. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. So you just kind of like, I'm just going to slip out. Mm. Okay, so you slip out. Okay, that ends this round. Next round, there's more bar fighting. Yeah, uh, bar fight. I, all right. Um, we already did the first regular. Uh, Amy, I'm going to start with you because he's, you know, he's got a guy grappled. And there's the two other guys punching. You can't help but notice that some other people started fights elsewhere in the bar. Yeah, fight! I, I, I feel like I should... Okay. Second half. He's being grappled, so. You want to ball tap him. I'm going to assume this is going to be I'm a, going to. This is going to be a call shot. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> the left nut. <laughs> okay. So what is your physique and uh, strength? Uh, 
3d10 physique, no strength. Okay, so go ahead and roll your physique dice. Okay. Uh, and you will roll one less die. So you have to roll the die. Okay. This is called shot. Yeah. He is protecting his ball. Yeah, there's a gesture men do where they put a knee in front of it. Oh, okay. If they're experienced. Oh, <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> oh, I in, in fact, you may have noticed some people get into a fighting gesture. They usually, okay, yeah. go ahead and roll these. They're back. always yeah. slightly oh. tilted to the side. They're always slightly tilted to the side. <laughs> nope, 19. No not a crit, but it's definitely a hit and a call shot. Oh, Ouch. Get. Uh, you may roll 2d6. And I use my call shot armor, which is not as good. I knew it's, about it, and I still couldn't dodge it. Uh, so yeah, I mean, he can, kicks a little bit, but he's also can roll that again. Guy. That's a six. Do you re-roll the six? Yes, if a die rolls its maximum, it rolls again. Nice. <laughs> Thirteen. Well, he's down. Oh, what you get? Left not core. Don't try to punch it on. It's a good thing you just rattled it, because that could have been, yeah, you could have literally busted it. <laughs> not in a good way. You wanted to bust the nut, right? He goes limp in your arms. I'm gonna drop well, I wanted to make potatoes. sure he wasn't making any children. Oh, uh, there's still two other guys here, so. Well, I've known in my hands just dropping. There's the one guy who's. No, it doesn't. There's one guy who's injured because his nose is broken. There's one guy who's ignoring Tyrion. Ignoring Tyrion? I hate him at a bar Okay, I'll go for the guy ignoring Tyrion. Okay. Can a child can I in the bar? A fighter, <laughs> sure, what skills do you have useful in defusing a fight? I'm assuming charisma and voice would be the best skills. Well, I don't have that. I have oh. gesture. Can I just like be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, I it could probably try Ge- to do it. Gesture is, is more subtle. Voice is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Tyrion could do it. I will try. try to just... Do you have a nice booming voice? I have a lot of charisma. That voice. works. Hey, wait, wait. Who's got somebody that has the voice? I, guess, I, guess. I have me. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's try it. I could have been nice and said something to calm him down, but he pissed me off. Roll it again. 14 roll again. And you can both try. It doesn't hurt. All right, okay. Mm. Uh, would you, uh, Colin, would you like to roll an extra d6 since you are the sheriff? Yes. <laughs> you want to threaten them with the ego? Oh, yes, I have 19. 19? And what do you have? 25. Oh. I was uh, just about to start swinging. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need a murder just yet in our town. Before the tournament, really? Come on, guys. <laughs> he, his friend got taught a good lesson. Thou shalt not kill. Go. He will not forget. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. Thou We don't Isaac, need to go kill. Since you haven't gone guns. yet, I'd like Isaac to make a roll of wisdom and reflection. Okay. Wisdom and reflection. Oh, no, wait, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, this would actually be intelligence and spatial. Uh, to see what's going on. Okay. You actually have spatial. Yeah. Uh, when I had to give stuff to the fighters, I figured spatial was probably the most appropriate thing. I have the sad 14. Okay. Um. Well, uh, the fight seems to break up, but the one guy who's still standing, who watched you down his friend by kicking him in the balls, uh, when his action comes up, he still thinks he's going to punch somebody. So, do you, you still haven't gone yet. What do you want to do? I'll knock him out. I'll knock him the crap out. All right. Quick or call? Um, if, you, if it's a call, you roll one less die. I'll just do quick. It doesn't matter. All right. Uh, that's physique and fitness? Uh, yes. The punching is. Yeah, I think that one does the same. Not a hydra. Uh, well, that's a crit. Roll two d six damage, and those do explode. <coughs> oh god! One did explode. That's ten. Oh, that's fifteen. He's one punched. <laughs> <laughs> Why always in one punch? I'm just well, the Ace, you just snuck off to the kitchen. Yep. Uh, you can't help but notice that. Um, uh, the mysterious person is standing behind Eric and is making uh, Eric use his key on the strong box. That guy is pulling a knife in Eric's back. Eric is being. Uh, um, um, I want to talk him out of it because I've got nothing else. Uh, what skills do you have useful in talking a bandit out? Uh, charisma and voice. Uh, charisma nice. and voice would work. Say something. Uh, <laughs> Hey, buddy, you don't want to do that. I don't think this guy has what you're looking for, or enough of what you're looking for. What? Who's there? Make a roll. 
Wow, that's a crappy roll. Wow, that's a really crappy <laughs> roll. Stop. You got 11. Stop the furious. Stop it. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Not that bad. Stop it, Dolores. Don't do that. Is there anything I can do to possibly help myself out here? No, this game doesn't have any provisions like that. Oh, <laughs> fuck you, you lost. Uh, well, that's okay, we're only playing it once. Ah, don't seek up on me like that. <laughs> You'll get what's coming to you. And he stabs you with his knife. Oh, my. Damn. <laughs> uh, what is your dodge? It is 10 and 20. You are critically hit! Oh, oh shit! I need you to roll your critical armor. Shit! Got a six. Uh, that explodes. Roll again. You got six plus five. It's Eleven. 11. Wow, I'm guessing that you have some sort of steel, like, buckle or something like that. I have a pin right there. <laughs> so on my no critical reason. damage, I roll 5, and for some reason, your armor, you roll 11. <laughs> so it's like, stare out. No, 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 Made out of wind flex. Yeah. Uh, Eric is going to take advantage of the lull to shout, Help! Help! I'm being robbed! Huh? And he rolls a 15 on his voice roll. Who knew that a bartender was good with loud voices? <laughs> um, so you guys, when you ask, you get to ask for the fight to stop, yeah. and there's a lull, you'll hear from behind, uh, from back in the pantry, Help! I'm being robbed! There's a good question about hey, a bar is being robbed. <laughs> Did someone break a law? You rush <laughs> over there. <laughs> Rushing over there will be a roll of dexterity and reaction. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. Dexterity and agility. You have to get over the, the people here. Hey, I can do that. Both of you can roll. I'm a lawman. I have 15. <laughs> dexterity and reaction? No, sorry. Dexterity and agility. My bad. 15. I'll stay out. Yeah, that guy should be ashamed of himself. Yeah. After the Lord in his face. 20. You can put a little 20? Yes. You'll we'll get there first. Because you you will see. Here, <laughs> you will see <laughs> Hurst. <laughs> here. You will see Master Merchant Hurst getting stabbed by some guy. Uh, who ha- he has a um, kerchief tied over his face. Hey, you! Stop in the name of the law. The law. Did you stay in the bar? Yes. Okay, and I assume you stayed in the bar. Yeah. And you also stayed in the bar, right? Yeah. Those of you stay in the bar, you'll see that a bunch of the other people who started the fight, but no one rolled high enough to see that. Run and leap. So a bunch of the non-locals run out. I like the way you're not here. He does. I couldn't tell oh. that. That's really good. I can <laughs> tell that. Okay. Yeah, I and like, you also roll a 15. So the, yes. So the two of you are blocking the door. The bandit who is there is going to grab Eric and hold his knife against Eric the bar owner's throat and say, oh, back off. I'll do it. I'm crazy enough. Ah, sir. All right now, son. Calm it down. Because you know, like, at first I was like looking at you, and I don't know why you're not dead. <laughs> and then I was looking at you going, I don't know what that is. And then you show, I was like, nah, there's three of you. Well, I'm the law here, and I'll make sure you die. And I. Man dies right there. Oh, reason, you got nothing left to look for. Can I reason with him? Try. What, I, what could you possibly say to me to change my mind? <laughs> I'm guessing there will be a role of like wisdom issues. Uh, no, no, reason is not reasoning with people. It's supposed to be like reasoning things out. This ah. is either dexterity and command, or it's... Uh, hey, dexterity command man. Or, Tell him. or stand down. Or charisma and debate. I don't have that. You don't have charisma and debate? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I do. No, but the same word is that your job? <laughs> well... <laughs> Charisma Let's debate his And you can still, you also to assist debate him. You, Colin has fast talk, debate. you have slow talk. This jest- jester wouldn't apply, right? Uh, no, gesture's usually pretty fast in the game, too. Okay. Like, gesture's when you posture for a crowd, or if you want your body language to blend in with the crowd. 26. It's also picking pockets. 26 to tell him to stand out. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything. That's not worth my life. Alright, I surrender. Good, you'll be thrown into the brig. <laughs> for life. <laughs> for life. <laughs> Alright, you're coming with me. <laughs> You're gonna spend the night <laughs> in jail. He said he was gonna kill me. Night. Stab me in my kidneys. I'm only gonna like. Tire. I'm gonna get you in half. To the dungeon. I do say it's like. <laughs> oh my god. And then a month later, we say the night's not over yet. Well, don't you know? I'm actually decently smart, so I can winter is here. Yeah. Yeah. Confidently yeah. say that I knew. I know that we have two days. The night is over. I'm a winter. Okay. Um. Eventually. Uh. What. Um. 
Wait, hold on. Yeah, eventually some of the militia people will show up, led by one of the other knights. About time y'all got here. Yeah. Get yeah, this guys. man to jail. Way to overachieve. The tower. <laughs> Way to overachieve. Everything's made of wood. Those wooden bars. Every scene. One siege fire arrow. In the air. Like, Filled with sets. Special marks no, no. makes a lot of sense. Yeah, what is it? Made it immune no. to fire. We have the fire. fire. The militia people will show up, led by the town mayor, whose name is Morgris. Mortimer! Yeah. Do the speaky. I don't know, but yeah. Morgris. Yeah. Morgris? Yeah, he has shaggy brown He's hair. Oh, Mordecai. Mordecai. Mordecai, why do you take... So long to get here. Um, because these guys are idiots, oh he God. says, pointing at the militia <laughs> people. A bunch of our people, they don't know when, how many of you guys ever been to an evil town before? Like, no. Why do your streets all go all weird, twisty ways? Because they follow the organic outgrowth when the place slowly grew in little curves. It's easy. You turn left on Chandler, right on, <laughs> right on High Street, left on Low Street, <clears throat> and then you go up Main Street, and then take the second Main Street. Ah! Yeah. Well, these people, where did you find these guys? I yeah. think actually over there in the woods. Somewhere. Can we go back to the woods? They now? seemed in tune with uh, our wood heritage. <laughs> what just Not happened? Perfect. Yeah, well, I they're told they're these a bunch of people just spilled out of here, but we couldn't catch but these guys, as Margaret's in the rhythm, couldn't <laughs> catch that. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on? What's this guy's story? Uh so this guy tried I'm innocent! <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> okay, they tried to stab one of our fellow merchants here, and then take our barkeep hostage. Merchant stabbing and barkeep, uh... Bopping. <laughs> barkeep bopping. <laughs> the two most heinous crimes. Ah, oh, what a sad day it is that we're hosting the tourney here at Headsman Glade. Thus, had to, like, don't have a hangman's noose assembled because we had to be using it as a fairground. Because <laughs> it's the Middle Ages. Fairgrounds one day, gallows the next. <laughs> but all the right. gallows it's are all entertainment. Entertain- Thank you. <laughs> well, <laughs> hanging is not entertaining. Hanging is a rare well, offense around his here. His neck did not step. But we can't arrest people since our militia <laughs> saw <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take this and the two unconscious guys into custody. Um, Sucky militia. <laughs> yeah. Can, can we do, like, Second round interview for the militia. <laughs> 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 Preferably ones that don't live in the woods. Yeah. No, if they They're were if they, they were scouting the woods, I'm sure they'd be perfect. <laughs> what can I say? It was my first roll in the game. I couldn't fight the low roll. Gotta find the militia. Okay, here we go. You, you, and you, go. <laughs> Alright, my job's done. Time to go to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, baby approved. Well, yes, we could probably, we should probably do another recruiting round in the morning, says Morgan. But in the meantime, let's go get these guys in the tank. You know, drunk, drunken, you know, drunken revelry, I can understand, being a large, brown haired, bushy, like Brian Blessed. Yes. <laughs> but, robbery, especially armed robbery, that's a crime. Your possessions are forfeited in the name of, uh, Baron Fenmark, I wrestle off you. Or toss him under. Spirit of naked, toss him in the cell. <laughs> That's what they do. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I said. So go ahead and do it. Yep. What? And I like how you guys are following them with, with the adventure because it even says the adventure happens. You know, we should probably get more better people. <laughs> more better people. All right. More better. Okay. And no one's taking hostage. Hooray! We did it. Victory. Nice um, bartender, I think we all deserve a free ramp. <laughs> Your wood yes. wood <laughs> that was the scariest thing about it. He threatened to do things to my wife. Uh, I will definitely, yes. Booze all around. Our finest wood liquor. <laughs> Yay. Bring out the stuff that didn't make our son go blind. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Oh, wow. Their son awesome. tries to. <laughs> the son tries to bring it out. Keep bumping into walls. Yay. <laughs> There's podcasting for you. All right. I get one. That's what I call podcasting. Yeah. Uh, 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 I get one. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Sweet. That's right. <laughs> Maybe on the floor. Hang on. Not yet, anyway. Is there a way to make it? Crawl for it. Okay. <laughs> so, the night, the night falls and people rest. Is anyone here actually injured? Uh, no. I'm pristine. 
That's it. Go for it. Baby. You didn't. I think you were missed, weren't you? I you, was missed. Yeah, you were. Boy, throwing down points is hard. Right. Sure was hit, hard. Hit points are really easy <laughs> to get back. Life points, not so much. <laughs> so that's how you get the big scars. Yeah, I lost a life point. That, that. Also, no one was demoralized, <laughs> so no one lost any faith. Uh, I've lost. Uh, horrible demoralization or weird magic, thank God, loss of that. All right, well, congratulations. You guys defuse that. Um, I guess uh, we've got three more days until the tourney actually starts. Three more three. days to get drunk. Well, then I falls and then it's only two more days. Well, geez, I better get started and get drunk then. He's trying very hard to reach that one. What skills do you have useful in getting drunk? I believe that's physique and health. Yeah. <laughs> I got that. Yeah, well, I, I can get drunk super good. Here we go. I don't, I don't, know, I don't, have, I don't, I don't have very good. Drunk. I don't know. Do you have those things? No. no. Super good. It's pretty good. No. I'm, it's a character no, I'm making thing. Ooh. Uh, I'm making it. So I'm, I'm fleshing out my character that I'm making. Okay. The Remember we're recording. Yes. Yeah. Ten. Ten? I feel like getting drunk. Yeah, you have to better. Yeah, I'm not feeling that. That's 21. Terrible. Uh, that that means you get a crappy drunk, and the next day you have a terrible headache. Wait, this explodes, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, you're it's fine. You're, you're, you're critically drunk. Critically drunk. Uh, uh, just twenty four. Twenty four, twenty five. But critically drunk. I yeah. You're uh, almost uh, critically drunk. In fact, that's almost worse than being critically drunk because you know you could have gotten better. I want to try to get drunk. Uh, fitness. Or, sorry, is it is he he Yes. <laughs> I got. You suck at this. Fifteen. I got fifteen. Could have been an eight. So the next day you have a terrible hangover, and what should happen the next day? But Tyrion and what was the sheriff's name again? Arden. And Arden, then can take you around. <laughs> Bang on thoughts and say we need to recruit better. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it! Get out! Get out no, come on! You're going with us. No. <laughs> no. no. Yeah. Ah, right in the middle of his head. <laughs> Oh, you're all wrong. Yeah, fine. Diva, get in the back up. Give me five more minutes <laughs> to get my armor out. I'll give you five less seconds. Get the hell out of here. Go. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I see that entire thing. Oh, no. What skills do you have useful to go get more militia people? Command. <laughs> uh, dexterity and command is not inappropriate, but actually, so go ahead and make a roll. Can you what about charisma? Yes, normally you can. But you Holy are hungover. Well, you still that's have to do this. I, I just rolled a 25. No, no, no. I may re roll my D10. You're, you're, you're fine. Hold on. No, I don't want to be there. I'm just jagging my feet. Right. Okay, 30, 36. In fact, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is a perfect 41. Point. You will lose nice. a point of faith. Yeah. 41. How could God make me feel this bad? This sucks. There is no God. You shouldn't have uh, hangovers. The damn uh, demon uh, drink again. <laughs> you will go find more locals much better this time. But now we have to determine if they're not idiots. What skill do you have useful in determining if they're better or good at their jobs? Analysis. Uh, you ask them a bunch of questions and see where they are. Intelligence analysis. Analysis, analysis your specialty? Yes. It's almost as if you're a criminal prosecuting sheriff. Why couldn't you roll that good the first, I mean, the other time? Why is this one so shitty? Uh, so that's ten. 15, 17. Look at you, shittily try. Well, I rolled average. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't crit. Where's your 41? Why couldn't you do I that? succeeded. Could you have succeeded? <laughs> Shut up. I did succeed. I got these <laughs> idiots over here. <laughs> Look at that. Three of them do a shot. <laughs> Nubis started recording this. You guys are getting terrible. <laughs> You're terrible. Wow. Knocking stuff off. You guys aren't even drunk. <laughs> Not. Not yet. Not I have yet. one beer at all. One beer at all. Half of a bottle. Let me drive high real quick. We can't have a bottle remaining of honey mead. Okay. You guys, you only recruit seven more people, but these guys are much more able bodied. And they'll say, well, yeah, sure. If you'll not mark, no, mark, sorry, if you'll mark time served off of our taxes, sure we'll come help. And you know, okay, these people coming in here drinking our wood liquor. I hear they non punch. No non punch in <laughs> my town. <laughs> You are a nun, right? Yep. Okay, you don't have to be. I'm a nun. Okay. That's even worse! Trying to seduce our nuns and punch them. Of course, now that you think about it, it's probably just a ruse to start barfing. I don't know how that makes you. You're an easy target. I mean, 
I mean, you're so easy to find. Besides, I heard they're sending people in here from science. Obviously not. Nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys know about Simonson, right? Know about what? Sure. You I have filthy not. savages. <laughs> what, do they have masonry buildings over there? No, Simonson uh, has a... Um, Simonson, uh, the Baron Fenmark... Uh, married uh, the princess of Simonton, or the Baron, uh, the, the, the Blair daughter. Blair Blinmark. But she died years ago. Oh, uh, so serious? Yeah, well, we're never too keen on it anyway. Uh, it was, he, he married her trying to, you know, get some, Hard since they're neighbors, he tried to, maybe this would kind of like, you know, like throw some things over, and the uh, wife bore him a daughter, who is Simonton's only heir. But well, people still like Simonton at all. It's really they, they come over here and steal our wood. God damn it, that cross is just a lie. That's why we're volunteering for the militia. Take your wood. Not to mention who these people My are. Militia. Finally, we're going to drive those stinking merchants out of town. The lowest of the low. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I won't deny it. Um, so now that you have about 19 guys, you're gonna tell, are you going to turn them over to the mayor? Or are you going to are you guys going to go on patrolling duty looking for trouble? Or are you just going to goof off and train for the event? Goof off and train. Yeah, it's definitely time to train. Ow. Okay, um, well, training for the event is to seek in fitness. Can I help you? <laughs> I'll roll for that. I want to train. Okay, Can you guys go, you guys go train. off the train and leave the militia on their own work. Yeah, no, we, 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 like, we give the mayor the militia. I uh, lock them over it. What a roll to the mayor. Right. 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 The mayor says, you know, I only have jurisdiction in town, yeah. right? I guess I will patrol yeah, with the militia. Oh. Is that also a lawman? Isn't the sheriff supposed to do that? I'm also a lawman. I got a 41. Well, as long as the Baron lets you do all this. <laughs> you haven't seen him in a couple days, so that's okay. 41. Oh, no, no, no. Do I have to, like, double check with him? Jeez. You rule the montage. You're the best. You're like, wow. Take over. It's cool. Bam, 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 bam. No one's ever going to bring you down. Everyone does suspect you. This is 21. Because you're the taxi. Yeah, you do just great. Like, just like you I know, got yeah. that damn Why hey, you know, word that I was not done <laughs> sleeping. Thank you very much for waking me up in the morning at the crack of noon. Mm-hmm. Son of a bitch. <laughs> damn. Uh, yeah, Lauren is, is um didn't show up that day. <laughs> Decker showed up. <laughs> Why is he even here? Because he can't keep him away, and it makes you so happy. Do they got face paint going on? I want to get my face painted. Oh, uh, no, Zach just stepped dirt on his face. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Anyone see it? No, you cannot. Bitch. <laughs> Especially on top. I mean, you're going to no, ruin it. No, no. Completely. Okay, no so works. since you guys went training, I assume you, you go back to the house to okay. sleep it off. Since you're knights, you have the right of coin men, which is the ability to go almost anywhere in town and say, hey, you can me up with a knight. I'm, like, you know, I'm a knight. Give me room and board. Oh. But Here's since you don't want to be assholes about it, you probably just go to the end. Okay. Uh, and, and Eric says, yeah, no, yeah, I could have made a lot more money by, you know, selling off each of my rooms, but I left one room open for you guys. Awesome. Thank you for saving my life. You are welcome. Oh, and the mayor came by. <laughs> uh... Uh, and said that, you know, the guys get, uh, that, uh, the trial is going to be tomorrow because Baron Fenmark's going to come out of his castle anyway and, you know, preside over the action. So he's also going to do summary judgment over that guy. So we're pronouncing the end of his stuff. Oh, really? And someone can pay fix. That's okay that you broke my stool. All right. So, yeah, here I saved you guys a room. It's my crappiest room, but it's a room. Thank Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Crappiest room at the nicest end in town. I'll well, he doesn't say that. But you guys see it's the crap. It's free. It's free. Don't <laughs> be fluff the straw for you. Nice, thank you very much. And you're just getting the mice out. Wait, do you guys sleep with mice or without mice? With, please. It's whatever. I'm talking about mice. Out. Thank you. A little more on this side. <laughs> oh, who goes to go with my egg on? <laughs> I love the middle ones. I like them when they nibble on my toes and ears. <laughs> you're a merchant, so I assume you sleep in town. Yep. Uh, at one of the many guilds. Yep. You go back to the orphanage. I go to the one with the most women. <laughs> um, I assume <laughs> there's uh, at least one other down there that looks good. I'm so better at it. I'm so uh, glad Tekker's kept busy these days. They're technically held at monasteries or... 
Yes. Where, where you put the infant on the turntable? Yes. Yes. You have one of those. Yes. It's made of wood. Yes. What? The family holes. When parents that have unwanted children, they stick the baby in the turntable and turn it, and nothing's asked of you. The child's given away. Yeah. Where yep. they find a new home for it, basically. That sounds horrible, but amazing. It's kind it, of the it, same concept of... today where you're allowed to go yeah. drop your child at a uh, police station and not be charged with abandonment. Well, it, take the child for you. Well, actually, I think you still can. Mm. But it, it's also part of what the practice they used to do before they had family homes, which was exposure. You know, it's, you know why it's called Oedipus, right? Oedipus is Greek for little feet. And that's because they found him with his feet nailed to the beach. Because that's what you did. You nailed the baby's feet down so it could go away. How do you nail anything to a beach? It's all sand. Well, it's a baby. So. <laughs> Sorry, what's still Ace, Ace, so no, you just get a piece of driftwood, you bury it a little bit. And Did I mention didn't baby. take an Oedipus's case? Yeah, he was. I mean, it's, all, it's not like you can train up and baby it. Yeah. Fuck ass! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, 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 consi- it's considered an alternative to baby exposure. <laughs> baby shit. So, yeah, there, there'd be monsters. So, there's probably. Yeah, yeah, take that as my scale. There's at least another baby. P6. All right. Uh, what time are we, we looking at as a bit in time? Uh, well, <laughs> you guys are, uh, well, let me make one, no, make two more sentences, and then we'll end Sure. This. Because while you guys are in town, you will hear a tumult, dare I say a rancor, coming from the streets. Nice because nice. there are horses riding through town, and people are screaming. Because, once you get to the window, you can see that there's a building on fire, and there are Bandits sacking the city. Uh, yeah, I knew we should have made everything out of name? wood. What's your name? Good thing I was just uh, uh, Do you think this would be a good place to wrap, or do you guys want to keep going? Yeah. Bring out Nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> and we're recording. Are we stopping here, or are we continuing? Well, I, I think we'll go ahead and stop here because things are good. All, All right. right. All right. Let me go ahead. We're getting so close to the murder, though.